okay so it's day 46 and today we'll be solving this closest subsequent sum so the thing is this problem is not actually hard because we have already solved a problem in this whole series which was actually linked to this particular algorithm that we'll be using in this concept and that is called meet in the middle so how that algorithm actually works is uh, so I'll just explain this problem once so you are basically given an array nums and an integer goal you have to select the subsequence in this nums so it's uh, like so that this particular value that is absolute plus uh, the absolute difference of sum minus the goal sum is the uh, total uh, some of the subsequence that you have selected so this particular value should be minimum so in short you have to select a subsequence such that uska jo sum hai, that is closest to your goal and this is and given the constraints given the constraints nums dot length is less than equal to 40 if you actually try the brute force approach that is there are total 40 wo, right 40 elements so if you try the brute force approach that is selecting and selecting not so you would totally have a 2 raised to 40 possible ways 2 raised to 40 possible ways like considering all the combinations that you can select 2 raised to 40 possible ways and this is not feasible you cannot run algorithm at this particular time so how do you solve this so just read just go to uh, just go through this algorithm once uh, how meet in the like how meet in the middle works what is this algorithm about because this algorithm will be helpful for you in like many problems so read that once and once you read that you'll be able to solve this problem easily but still I'll explain the algorithm once so how it works so suppose you are given some elements okay just say you are given total of 40 elements only okay 40 elements so me so you would split this into two parts of 20 elements each 20 elements each Dono side 20 elements only and then you can actually get all the possible subsequent sums for this for these 20 elements why because 2 raised to 20 and 2 raised to 20 yahan pe, that is feasible your kid goes to somewhere around 1e6 max to max 1e6 tak jayega. so this is possible so once you have this particular thing ready that is tumne is particular jo ye 20 elements the left ma, aur ye jo 20 elements the right ke dono ka subsequent sum nikal diya, then it's very easy for you to solve this particular cheese ki abhi mujhe total sum chahiye such that it is very close to goal so how do you do that suppose tumne ye jo 20 elements ke sum nikal hai jo 2 raised to 20 ka tumne total sum nikala usme se ek kuch aise sums hai jaise kuch 5 aaya 4 aaya 3 aaya ye subsequent sums hai ha Ko, like koi ek subsequence ka sum 5 tha koi ek subsequence ka sum 4 tha similarly 3 tha similarly right side mein bhi there was some elements which go by minus 3 uh, 7 8 aisa kuch tha and suppose tumhara goal le lo uh, 13 hai theek hai so you iterate like tum like tumhare upar hai tum koi bhi ek side iterate kar sakte ho suppose tum, you start from left you select 5 and once you select 5 tumhe abhi kya select karna hai like what's pending agar tumhe apne goal ke paas pahunchna hai that is 13 minus 5 you have to select 8 tumhe right side mein koi aisa element chahiye which is very close to 8 so what you'll do is you'll actually run a loop like and tumhe ye wali cheez sorted rakhni hai so i have maintained a set so that it is auto sorted but it's up to you usme lower bound and upper bound bhi easily lag jata hai so jab mujhe pata chal gaya ki mujhe bhi maine left side se ek aisa subsequent select kiya jiska sum 5 hai mera goal 13 tha aur mujhe aur 8 ka sum chahiye so that i am closest to my particular goal what i'll do is i'll run a lower bound like tumhare upar hai run a lower bound upper bound however you want to play so what i did is maine lower bound nikala on 8 mujhe ye wala element mil gaya and just for safety maine uske ek piche element bhi nikala hai that's what i've done so lower bound and what lower bound gives you greater than equal to tumhara jo bhi value hai एक बार उससे देख लो अगर तुम्हारा सम पास पहुंच रहा है या फिर गो वन एलिमेंट बैक एंड आल्सो चेक अगेन अगर उससे पहुंच रहा है दैट इज व्हाट आई हैव डन सो सेलेक्ट एन एलिमेंट फ्रॉम हियर चेक करो और कितना बचा है राइट right साइड से वो पिक करो यूजिंग बाइनरी सर्च और लोअर बाउंड सो ये वाले जो दो फंक्शंस है the first half ke sare subsequence ke sums and right half ke sare subsequence ke sums that i got via meet in the middle algorithm to jab mujhe pata chal gaya ki mujhe l aur r ke beech wo chahiye apna mujhe l aur r ke subsequent sums chahiye to you go over like iterate over the mask that is 2 raised to the total number of elements minus 1 and you check fir to ye simple hai isme kuch khas cheez hai nahi tum har mask mein jao mask mein jo jo index mein set hai wo apne sum mein add karo and wo subsequent sums mein add karo and usse return kar do then what you'll do is tum jaise maine first half sums mein iterate kiya fir maine dekha mujhe aur kitne elements chahiye so that i am very close to my goal us cheez pe main lower bound run karunga second half wale sums mein and then as i said agar wo end mein nahi hai like agar usse like if, like if you're able to find the lower bound element then you will run this 
otherwise like not otherwise also you will try to go one step behind and again compare your element with the answer like again compare your sum with the answer like the difference with your answer so these two operations you will do and in the end simply return the answer so that's all simple algorithm is not much has any but it's a good idea when the constraints are so big that you cannot run a brute force but if you just divide your constraints by two you can run the algorithm so that's when you have to use this meet in the middle कुछ और डाउट हो इस कॉन्सेप्ट में तो पूछ लेना दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे बाय बाय